This is Randy, and I will be your guide as we tour Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Our journey begins at the Mackinac Bridge. The Mackinac Bridge is one of the world's most beautiful bridges and truly something to see. The bridge was designed by the great engineer David B. Steinman and opened on November 1, 1957. The structure took 48 months to complete with over 3,500 workers and $99,800,000. Also known as the Big Mac or the Mighty Mac, the bridge stretches 8,614 feet, making it the fourth longest suspension bridge in the world. With a total span of approximately five miles, the Mackinac Bridge connects the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. The main bridge cables are made from 42,000 miles of wire and the towers stand 554 feet above the water and 210 feet below to their bedrock. The engineering of the Mackinac Bridge was designed to accommodate the high winds, temperature changes and constant changes of weight. In severe conditions the deck at center span could move up to 35 feet. Under more subtle conditions, the deck could move slowly in one direction based on the force and direction of the winds. Our next destination is the Upper and Lower Tequamanan Falls. The Lower Falls are a series of cascades that go around a small island with several drops in the 10 foot range. You can rent a boat and go to the island and walk around and see more views of the falls. There is a campground near the lower falls and a concession stand where you can buy ice cream, drinks, and souvenirs. Tequamanan Falls State Park encompasses close to 50,000 acres, stretching over 13 miles. Most of this is undeveloped woodland without roads, buildings, or power lines. The centerpiece of the park and the very reason for its existence is the Tequamanan River with its waterfalls. The Upper Falls is one of the largest waterfalls east of the Mississippi. It has a drop of nearly 50 feet and is more than 200 feet across. A maximum flow of more than 50,000 gallons of water per second has been recorded cascading over these falls. Our 
Our journey now takes us north along Highway 123 to Paradise, Michigan. Paradise, established in 1925, is a small town with a history of shipping, logging, fishing, and blueberry and cranberry harvesting. Paradise is the hub of such attractions as the Whitefish Point Lighthouse, the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum, Tequamanan Falls, and the Whitefish Point Bird Observatory.
Next destination is Whitefish Point. Whitefish Point is located at the extreme southeastern end of Lake Superior. It is a critical turning point for all vessel traffic entering and leaving this largest of all the Great Lakes. Whitefish Point marks the eastern end of a notorious 80 mile stretch of shoreline from here west to Munising, known ominously as Lake Superior Shipwreck Coast. Of the 550 known major shipwrecks lying on the bottom of the lake, at least 200 of them are in the vicinity of Whitefish Point. The Whitefish Point Light Station was established by Congress in 1849. Since then, a life-saving beacon has illuminated these dangerous waters for mariners continuously. Today, the Whitefish Point Light is the oldest operating lighthouse on Lake Superior. The present light tower was constructed in 1861 during Abraham Lincoln's administration. Our next destination is Munising.
the streaks of mineral stain that can be seen on the face of the weathered, sculpted cliffs. An array of colors occur when groundwater seeps through the cracks and trickles down the rock face. Iron is the red and orange, copper is the blue and green, manganese is the brown and black, and limonite is the white, and they are among the most common color producing minerals. Richard Rocks National Lakeshore is managed by the National Park Service as one of only four national lakeshores. The Pictured Rocks tower 50 to 200 feet directly from Lake Superior and stretch for about 15 miles along its 42 mile length. In addition to the Pictured Rocks, the lakeshore also offers 12 miles of beautiful beaches nearly five miles of enormous sand dunes, several waterfalls and lighthouses. Within the park, over 100 miles of trail lead to remote lakes, streams, and forests to explore.
Located within Pictured Rocks National Shoreline, this picturesque lighthouse stands on Aw Sable Point on the south shore of Lake Superior, approximately 12 miles west of Grand Marais. Built in 1873 through 1874, the light tower's base diameter is 16 feet with a height of 86 feet. The lens focal plane is 107 feet above lake level. All of the buildings on site, along with the tower and keeper's quarters, make up the light station. The Grand Marais Harbor of Refuge Inner and Outer Lights are a pair of lighthouses located on the West Pier at the entry to Grand Marais Harbor of Refuge in Grand Marais, Michigan. They were listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2012. is located on the deserted shore of Lake Superior, just 37 miles north of Newberry. Chris Point Lighthouse is considered one of the most inaccessible and lonely mainland lighthouses in the Upper Peninsula, yet can be reached by taking a narrow country road through the Lake Superior State Forest. Our next destination is Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island is an island and resort area covering 4.35 square miles in land in the state of Michigan. It is located in Lake Huron at the eastern end of the Straits of Mackinac between the state's upper and lower peninsulas. The island was long home to Odawa settlement and previous indigenous cultures before European colonization began in the 17th century. It was a strategic center of the fur trade around the Great Lakes. In the late 19th century, Mackinac Island became a popular tourist attraction and summer colony. Many of the structures on the island have undergone extensive historical preservation and restoration. Because of its historic significance, the entire island is listed as a National Historic Landmark.
It is well known for the numerous cultural events, a wide variety of architectural styles, including the Victorian Grand Hotel and its ban on almost all motor vehicles. More than 80% of the island is preserved as Mackinac Island State Park. There are no chain hotels on Mackinac Island. Instead, there are more than 1,600 unique rooms in a delightful variety of hotels, resorts, bed and breakfasts, condominiums, cottages, and homes. Each extraordinary place to stay is a one-of-a-kind, family-owned gem. In many cases, the ownership dates back to the 1800s when Mackinac Island began blossoming into a summer vacation destination. The timeless charm from that era lives on to this day through the hospitality of Mackinac Island's historic places to stay. Located on the Mackinac Island's sunrise side, Mission Point spans 18 acres of waterfront property on Lake Huron, creating an unparalleled setting for guests to savor life's simple pleasures. The most popular way to get around on Magna Island is by bike. The trail around Magna Island is wonderful with its breathtaking scenery and points of interest along the way. The trail around the island is about 8.2 miles and takes anywhere from 1 to 3 hours depending on how often you choose to stop to view points of interest or to rest.
This Mackinac Island State Park facility has a lighted 3,500 foot paved runway and a parallel taxiway for propeller airplanes and small jets. Thank you for joining us on this adventure through Michigan's Upper Peninsula.